the acrid are retreating. Looks like Delta Station's in the clear. The swarm is subsiding in the hangar as well. Whatever you did seemed to work, Jim. We're ever thankful. I'm happy to help. Just glad to be back home. Science is not an exact science. At its best, science is, is chaotic and unpredictable. Often produces a foul odor that you cannot scrub from your fingers. Nature has bottomless mysteries and contradictions, a fanfare of ironies and impossibilities. Male seahorses bearing litters. Mm. Frogs consuming their own offspring. All right, my entire population uh, wasn't working. Hey, I'll start to get to M from blood. I've observed these things across with my own eyes. Small lost planet three. Uh, yeah, them, someone needs to hit that guy. Their right. hands. It's kind of an any ass. Answer, and, and, and and um, any answer can be one at that. Dissected into being. Any secret can be cut open. Anyway, onward. And the scalpel is sharp enough. This is actually. 80% patience and 20% is cutting things open. <laughs> hey, all, this is Archangel Lamb from the Crossroad Gathering here with More Lost Planet 3. Uh, you did miss a little bit, but that's because the previous recording crashed almost instantly. And then again, and again, and again. It just kept repeating a crash sequence over in a cycle. It was annoying. No, I think we're good. Don't ask where I got this gun. I got it. It was in the armory. Hot two, three. Hot two to go faster, you fool. Kicking that thing won't help. Set this person. Then it's down to talk to Gale to get my stuff made better. Armory to see what he has, because I once again I'm in the fifteen thousand. 
range, which is just grand. Stop it. You stupid. Hey, boss. Nice to see everything's still running as smooth as ever. Right? I knew you're still alive. <laughs> so where the hell you been? So, you fought a G-Class Acrid, fell down the side of a mountain, landed on the other side of Shack's Peak, and somehow survived for two weeks before you got back into Comrade? Thankfully, the rig was flush with rations and ammo. Lucky timing, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if you've got a good luck charm or you are one. <laughs> Funny how often luck feels just like getting my ass kicked. <laughs> <sighs> Jim, you know, I... Uh... Take you at your word, of course, but uh, I'm sensing there's a little more to your story. Well, now that you mention it, there is this. What is? Th Where did you find that? I'm sensing that you already know the answer to that. Don't toy with me, Peyton. What did you find? Why don't you tell me what I found? We're the first humans to set foot on this planet, so obviously I didn't find some fifty-year-old Nevek base, did I? You keep your voice down. Is that really all you have to say? No. It's important you understand something, Jim. Keeping the first colony under wraps wasn't my idea. It's one of the terms I had to agree to for Nevik to green light this mission in the first place. Perception is vital to their interests. Okay. I'll go to great lengths to conceal such a debacle. Coronas was set to land far, far from the original site, but the storm forced us down here. Nearer to the truth than I could have even ever hoped. He won't. Like hoped? Why would you hope for this? That's why. General Charles Braddock, commander of the first Neo Venus Colonial Expeditionary Force. Your old man led the first colony. Led it and lost it. And he was never the same. Something happened here. Something you would never talk about. Right, so you're here to what? Fulfill your father's dreams? Redeem his failures? I'm here to solve the energy crisis and maybe get some answers with your help. Okay. Consider this an opportunity, a standing contract for further investigation. Not for Coronas, but for me personally. And I'll pay a premium for your ongoing discretion. Apparently, I'm a mercenary. To everybody, too. If a word of this reaches Nevek, they'll take back the whole operation. Put it under paramilitary command. I hate lying to the men, Jim, but it's for their own good. Trust me. Don't worry, two people can keep a secret if I put a bullet in one of their heads. See what I can see. I'm not gonna shoot him. I like Braddock. Okay. Do this no that still doesn't go any further. By the way, Jim, a supply drop came in while you were away, and if I'm not mistaken, we got all the parts we need for a couple of major upgrades to your rig. One of them's a gas torch. I've got some contracts for you on the new pipeline, so uh, I need you ready to do some welding. The other upgrade? Well, I'll just let Gail show you that one. Sounds like fun. I am going to Gale first, so I don't know why I'm going in this route, but whatever. Hey, what's the rumpus, Jim? Cool. Hey, it just logged me out again. Mother fudger. Why does it do this? Hey, there's no reason to do this. It makes no sense. No one else is logging in. No one else can log in. Check my email. No what unauthorized logins. Whatever. At least I'm still 
the same area. Man alive, Jim. I'm glad you're back. It was a long couple of weeks. Of course I told him you'd make it. Never a doubt in my mind. Oh, won't Braddock be happy? His favorite, back from the dead. LaRoche is happy to see you too. Hey, major, major upgrade time for you. Parts came in for an acetylene torch. Sexy, right? I can slap that together in no time. But the other upgrade, it's gonna take significant surgery, but you're gonna love it. Consider it a little welcome home gift from Braddock and yours truly. Your chassis is a Dynasty II swing arm. Platform compatible. All the access holes line up and everything if we want to fully convert. You game? I trust you, Gail. And if you hurt her, I'll cut your arms off. Sweet! Not the arm off. It sounds like you're making it so people can, like, hop on my back or something. Exactly what you're doing. I'm not sure anymore. Oh my god, did it really just kick me out again? What is the hell is going on? No, a sign in change has not occurred. What the hell? I'm not enjoying this. Stop doing this to me, world. Of course. This time I'm skipping the cutscene. Valid understandable reasons, of course. Man alive! Je I can't. I'm glad that you're back. It was a long sucks. couple of weeks. Of course I told him you'd make it. Never a doubt in my mind. Okay, then. Oh, won't Braddock be happy? He's favorite back from the dead. LaRoche is happy to see you too. Hey, major, major upgrade time for you. Parts came in for an acetylene torch. Sexy, right? I can slap that together in no time. But the other upgrade, it's gonna take significant surgery, but you're gonna love it. Consider it a little welcome home gift from Braddock and yours truly. Your chassis is a Dynasty II swing arm. Platform compatible. All the access holes line up and everything if we want to fully convert. You game? I trust you, Gail. And if you hurt her, I'll cut your arms off. Sweet! Right, please don't kick me off this time. Just let me finish with my little auto stuff. This is it, Jim. My masterpiece. Your rig can now transform into a drilling platform. Okay. The suspension might feel a little tighter, and sorry about that, but you're gonna lose your mind when you see what your rig can do now. The Roche, no begging for one. Giving you enough chances. Fancy but useless, huh? What good is a drilling platform without knowing the location of deep thermal pockets? Shush! You're ruining the high. Jim, you were also officially upgraded with the Mitchell Industries oxyacetylene torch. Dual 150 oxygen regulators with a custom thermodyne cutting tip. It's a small flame for welding and cutting, so don't expect to melt the environment with it. It's pretty pyro-proof. Gotta say, proud of this one. Just check the valve reseals on the cylinder from time to time. And the Frankenstein rig keeps growing. Mmm, yeah. LaRoche, can I have a second alone with Gail? Ah, I don't want to be here for this anyway. Au revoir. Bye -bye Listen, Gail, can you look at getting a replacement for this purifier? Uh, dude, this is like 50 years old. I don't think a modern-day replacement would work with wherever this came from. But I can look at repairing it for you. That's just as good. Sweet! Let's do this thing! I have a lot of things. Tell the truth, Jim. 
Yep, yep, yep. More reach for your witch. Oh, uh, no big story to tell. Fell off a cliff, nearly died, got rescued by a beautiful snow princess who magically healed me at her secret hideaway. Pretty much what you'd expect. I got even lying. Nice. Points for creativity. I'll get the real story out of you when I get the purifier repaired. Sure, I can bolster the hole a little further. Harder's better, right? So close on that one. So, five for that, three for that. I think that's everything, actually. Doodles. I'm gonna go buy one. Two, six. That actually, mathematically, wouldn't hurt me that badly. Hey, what's the rumpus, Jim? <laughs> you can never carry enough grenades if you ask me. I agree, right? I think I keep buying them. Gail got you rummaging around for scrap, huh? Gail got you rummaging around for good deal. Good I'd deal. I really have that stuff. You be careful out there, kiddo. Any of my tea energy things? Take it to the Marshall Gorge. And the I also found one of those albino whatever rivers. Um, on uh, same place I found the one over at Pickett's. Busting out the welding goggles. Cool. I can literally do that one in minutes. Hang on. You can never have too much hole shielding, right? Actually, any more than this and you might fall over, so that might be too much. Till next time, boss. Uh, will there be a next time? Because I kind of took a lot of stuff from you. Congratulations, my man, you've done it. You're now top of the leaderboard. Oh, she got all in mind. Oh, move it. Oh, move it. Yeah, wait till LaRoche gets a load of this. I ain't in it for the competition, fellas. Ah, maybe just a little. Oh, well, maybe a little. Let's get the hell out of Dodge. And by Dodge, I mean Coronas, and by Coronas, I mean this place, and I'm going to go out and harvest my tea energy. I don't know why I'm recording it. I mean, it's kind of monotonous. Who knows? Might be a good fight. Somewhere out there. Now that your rig's upgraded, test it out on a deep core tea energy reservoir in the North Plains. Braddock out. <laughs> So we're gonna go to the state. We're doing everything but the mission. Gracie, I'm so sorry I worried you. I'm fine. I just found myself off the grid for a spell. Nothing I planned on. It's a long story. And you'll hear it, I promise. Just 
Stay strong, doll. Talk soon. Fell down a mountain, didn't make it far. Fell down a mountain. There's my target. Coming out of Where are you coming from? He's on hit me. He's on hit me. Got it. I am out of here. Travel mid mission. What mission am I on right here? Oh, you're just gonna make me do it, aren't you? It's just gonna make me do the mission. Just because I had to enter this area. baby Thank you. 
Now what? Coming. That's what I wanted out of you. No! 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 Okay, that's a bad gun for this situation. Grenade launcher, however, might just wreck them. If I can get them in the face, you know. So far, that's only worked on the mouth things. Then again, I've only been shooting them at those uh, weird arachnid-looking things. So maybe it will work. Of course, I had to start all the way over from the freaking beginning. Not happy about that, by the way. So you know what? Let's see this one.
about this. That's being a dick. Bye. This has been Archangel Lamb. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Till next time.